Now, right, so beginning to question number 5. Now, so beginning to question number 5, write down, find the slope of normal to the curve find the slope of normal find the slope of normal to the curve x is equal to a cos cube theta x is equal to a cos cube theta Next, y is equal to a sin cube theta, y is equal to a sin cube theta at theta is equal to pi by 4, at theta is equal to pi by 4. So, yes, ready? And now moving to that question. So, have a look and take a look here. Find the slope of a normal to the curve x is equal to a cos cube theta and y is equal to a sin cube theta at theta is equal to pi by 4. Now, how to look at that one? See, x is equal to a cos cube theta. Here, x is equal to a cos cube theta. Now, differentiating on both sides with respect to theta. So, that is dx by d theta is equal to here a remains the same and now x power n derivative n into x power n minus 1. So, from this cos cube theta derivative 3 cos square theta next after that cos theta derivative minus sin theta and it is So, this is minus 3a sin theta cos theta dx by d theta is equal to minus 3a sin theta and cos square theta, correct? And after that y is equal to a sin cube theta, y is equal to a sin cube theta from this dy by d theta. So, now this is dy by d theta a. Here, x power n derivative n into x power n minus 1. So, that is 3 sin square theta, 3 sin square theta and after that derivative of sin x is cos x. So, this is cos theta 
correct and now dy by d theta 3a sin square theta and cos theta and calculate dy by dx now from this dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta by dx by d theta correct and after that so moving to 3a sin square theta cos theta so this is 3a sin square theta cos theta correct by denominator and this is minus 3a sin theta cos square theta minus 3a and it is sin theta cos square theta correct and now after this these two will get cancelled and after that one sign and this is one cos right so this is plus by minus and it is minus and it is sin theta by cos theta correct and now sin by cos sin by cos is tan now from this dy by dx means slope you can write like this m is equal to sin by cos is see sin by cos is tan so this is a tan theta and they gave you at theta is equal to pi by 4 so now look here m1 is equal to dy by dx at the point theta is equal to pi by 4 so that means tan 45 degrees is 1 correct so this is minus a tan 45 and it is minus 1 right what does m1 indicates m1 indicates slope of tangent and now slope of normal is required so now from this we can say from this we can say m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 because tangent and normal are perpendicular here m1 is minus 1 into m2 is minus 1 correct and after that m2 is minus 1 by minus 1 and it is 1 so what does m2 indicates m2 indicates slope of normal right so this is slope of normal is equal to 1 right so with that we have completed our sum i will give you one or two minutes of time to write down yes this is the beginning yes this is the beginning so i will wait for one or two minutes so you can note down quickly huh Oh, completed, huh? Yes, yes. So, I can go to next slide, huh? Ah, yes, yes. I will wait for one minute. So, wait for one minute. Completed, fine. So now I'm moving to next slide. Yes, this is our next slide. I'll wait for one more minute.
yes and now moving to next slide so this is our final slide completed ready and moving to question number 7 right so moving to question number 7 find the points at which find the points at which find the points at which the tangent to the curve at which the tangent to the curve y is equal to y is equal to x cube minus 3x square x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 9x plus 7 x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 7 is parallel to x axis parallel to x axis and now see here tangent is parallel to x axis right so you all know that one slope of x axis is zero and slope of any line parallel to x axis is zero so from this you can say from this you can say take and differentiating with respect to x so now y is equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 7 correct and after that differentiating on both sides with respect to x differentiating on both sides w r t x correct you all know that one x power n derivative n into x power n minus 1 so from this you can say here dy by dx now now dy by dx x power n derivative n into x power n minus 1 x cube derivative 3x square so it is 3x square correct and now x square derivative 2x it is 2x and 9x derivative 9 and 7 is a constant constant derivative 0 0 and now it is 3 x square correct minus 6x minus 9 look here tangent is parallel to x axis right so slope of any line parallel to x axis is 0 now 3x square minus 6x minus 9 <coughs> is equal to 0 here see why it is zero as i mentioned earlier slope of x axis is zero slope of any line parallel to x axis is zero so that's why it is zero and after that x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to zero and after that 
see x square plus x minus 3x minus 3 is equal to 0 and after that x into x plus 1 correct minus 3 into x plus 1 is equal to 0 and now x plus 1 into x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is 0 from this x is equal to minus 1 x minus 3 is equal to 0 from this x is equal to 3 and our question is calculate the points back to our page uh, C find the points y is equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 7 y x cube minus 3x square correct minus 9x plus 7 minus 9x plus 7 here how to calculate the points at x is equal to minus 1 what is y value right at x is equal to minus 1 so now substituting here you will get y so y is equal to minus 1 whole cube correct minus 3 into minus 1 whole square correct minus 9 into minus 1 plus 7 correct and after that here minus 1 cube minus 1 minus 3 1 square 1 9 into 1 9 plus 7 7 correct and now from this 9 plus 7 16 16 minus 4 and it is 12 12 correct correct at x is equal to 3 here at x is equal to 3 calculate y so from this y is equal to here 3 cube so now this is 3 cube correct minus 3 into 3 square 9 into 3 plus 7 correct so now y is equal to so 27 uh, minus 27 plus 7 and minus 20 correct so finally it is at x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to 12 at x is equal to 3 y is equal to minus 20 so these are the two coordinates that are required yes note down so moving to previous slide here so I will wait for one or two minutes Uh, completed yes name of the student Sir, chandana. chandana right 
So moving to next slide. And now moving to question number eight. Right down. Find a point on the curve. Find a point on the curve y is equal to x minus 2 whole square. y is equal to x minus 2 whole square at which the tangent is parallel at which the tangent is parallel to the chord joining to the chord joining the points the points 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 find a point on the curve at which the tangent is parallel to the chord joining the points right so once again differentiating on both sides with respect to x ready so y is equal to x minus 2 whole square correct and after that differentiating on both sides with respect to x differentiating on both sides with respect to x y with respect to x derivative dy by dx is equal to here here look here x power n derivative n into x power n minus 1 so it is 2 into x minus 2 correct x derivative is 1 so after that look here children find a point on the curve at which the tangent is parallel to the chord so what is the meaning involved in this one so take a curve like this take a point like this draw a tangent like this here tangent is parallel to this one tangent is parallel to this one so these two lines are parallel means slopes are equal 
so calculate 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 here now slope of 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 once again check the coordinates correct 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 so we can say m1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and 4 minus 0 by 4 minus 2 and 4 by 2 and it is 2 correct and after that moving to previous slide it is dy by dx at the point x1 y1 right m2 dy by dx at the point x1 y1 so from this it is in place of x substituting x1 so 2 into x1 minus 2 2 into x1 minus 2 now from this you can say m1 is equal to m2 correct m1 is equal to m2 the reason behind this is the two lines are parallel two lines are parallel means slopes are equal so now correct na? any doubt once again how to get m2 means see moving to our previous slide this is our slope of the tangent correct in place of x and y you have to substitute x1 y1 correct yes, sir. yes name of the student Aditya. Aditya. so Aditya, now it is clear for you yes, sir. right so moving to next slide now here these two slopes are equal so from this you can say from this <coughs> Finally, your result is x1 is 3. At x1 is equal to 3, calculate y value. <coughs> so, y is equal to x minus 2 whole square. one so the result is three comma one so three comma one is the required point over so write down moving to previous slide yes right on <coughs> done So just few seconds. And uh, ready, moving to next slide. Right. Just six more minutes left. Done, Done, ready. And I think, and moving to next slide.
so i think everyone has completed this one and now last one for today because it's only just little over 5 minutes more <coughs> and ready right on find the point on the curve find the point on the curve y is equal to x cube minus 11x plus 5 y x cube minus 11x plus 5 correct x cube minus 11x plus 5 at which the tangent is at which the tangent is y is equal to x minus 11 y is equal to x minus 11 right now so look here students so time is less than 3 minutes so it might be not sufficient at least i will do half of the sum and remaining sum take it as homework and do ready so now look here so yes less than 3 minutes more i will do half of the sum here y is equal to x cube minus 11x plus 5 correct correct right and after that differentiating on both sides with respect to x differentiating on both sides correct so from this dy by dx is equal to x cube derivative 3x square correct x derivative 1 correct constant derivative zero and it is 3 x square minus 11 write down y is equal to x minus 11 right so calculate dy by dx 1 make sure that these two are equal so look here children i am giving you the hint from this you will get x square from this you will get x x you will have two values ready here if you substitute x here you will get one value as y like this <coughs> and after that if you substitute x value here you will get another point but this point or this point only one answer is correct because what is the reason here see this is a point of contact this is a point of contact point of contact means only one point is there the curve and the tangent will meet at only one point that means you have to substitute here and here if you, if the point satisfies both the equations then it is correct that is the way so take it as homework and do it well the time is approaching towards 3 o'clock and it's time to close our meeting and i am looking forward to your presence tomorrow afternoon exactly at 2:15 pm so from all of here have a nice time and bye bye
Right. Thank you very much. So we will meet tomorrow afternoon at 2:15 p.m. So stay tuned to so stay tuned to Zoom app.